Hey guys, this is Like Solutions coming to you today, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own clock widget. So first, I want you to go ahead and download um, UCCW from your Play Store. So this is how the app looks like, and this is my app jar. So go ahead and type WCCW in the Google Play Store. So after you download WCC Play Store, okay, so it will look just like this. So you can download the Ultimate Custom Widget, and that's what it looks like. So you're going to make sure you have this installed, okay? All right. This is how the app looks like. Inside, once you open it, this is a preview. Okay, so let's go back. All right. So you do want to make sure that you download some of the skins and templates that they have available. For example, this one, if you want the Earth um, UCC um, skin, this is what it looks like. So you can go ahead and download any template that you want. So go ahead and download templates that they have available. So after you download the templates that they have available that you may be interested in, this is how it looks. Well, I downloaded you know, a few um, templates, so it depends what kind of template that you download. Okay, so this is how it looks. These are the two that I, this one I made, and this one I made. And I'm still making more, and I'm, I think I made that, I think so. Okay, these are the two that I made, and I think I made that one as well. But I didn't do that much custom customization to it. So I'm going to show you how you can get these beautiful widgets. Alright, first thing first, you want to go over here, and it has like a plus um, sign button in a circle. So you want to click that. Alright, so it shows the templates that you have installed on your um, phone. So, depending on what you download on the Google Play Store, it will show up, up here. Okay? So, the one that I want to do, uh, I'm going to do this one again. Already exists. And you can save how you want. I'm just going to type blah, 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 blah. Okay? So this is what it looks like now. So you can change the background. You can use a color mode or an image. So I'm going to use an image and I don't want you guys to see what's in my gallery. So when you click the mode, if you wanted the color background or the image, you just click that and you will click background. And it'll be options where you can get your pictures from Dropbox, Kitty Play, Photos, Gallery, or Coco PPA, PPA, but I'm going to use my gallery. Alright, so I'm going to choose one of my beautiful recent photos that I just took in. So, as you can see, it's not up there right now. But the image scale type, we're going to click Feel. F. So, this right here, it says Alpha Trans... Trans... Whatever how you pronounce it, I'm sorry. But you can... You can determine how light and dark that you want it to show. So, if you don't really want it to show, it'd be zero. Medium. This is halfway. And this is all the way. So, I want it to be 100%. So, you're going to click Done. Okay? So, we're going to click Back button. And we're going to go to objects. So the objects are within the clock widget. So here's the month. And the label is month, the month. The position, you can adjust it however you want it. How big. Um, if you want it down here or up here. But I want it to be in the middle. I hope you guys can see that. You probably cannot see that. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. I'm sorry if you can't. Alright, um, so, you're going to, you also have the option to, you know, do the, do the trans, do the transparency, I cannot pronounce that word. 
All right. Also, the angle as well. If you want to, if you want to do the 360 thing, I hope you guys can see that, and you probably can't. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys can really see that. So let me show you. So you could change the angle. You could change the angle of how you want this. Okay. Click done. You can also change the size. So if you want a real big or medium, and you cannot see that as well. But we're going to go ahead and change the font so you guys can see it really good. Okay. This is for now. So. Let's go back to angle. Alright, as you can see, October, because we're working on the month. As you can see, you can change the angle of how you want it. So, I want it kind of a little slanted because I want it kind of like a messy kind of thing. And I, and I do want to change my font. But you also can change your color, your size of your font. And I basically want to keep it pink because I love pink. Your source, you want to keep that as the month because you could change it, whatever you want it. But I want the month in the middle. So the source, you can change it from time, the weather. So with all of these, you can change them up if you like. I'm sorry that this camera is shaking. I am holding, holding it by myself. Um, the month settings, if you change, if, okay, depending on what you select, the source will change right here. The text mapping, you just leave that alone. <laughs> Your prefix and suffix, you can change it as well. It's really not that, um, you know. You can also change the shadow color. and You can change it pink, but I want to keep it white. So let's go back to the white. And I'll probably just keep it pink. I hope you guys see. You can also change the fonts. Now the fonts are depending what's on your phone or whatever tablet so it depends what kind of fonts that you have installed into your device but determine what kind of fonts that was that will pop up so I want like a pretty cursive theme and you probably cannot see that I probably keep it the chunky pink okay all right so you can also do the same things for the day, month, hour, minute, time, and all that. You just do the same thing, and I'm going to come back. Um, I probably will show you some of the clips of me working on it or what I have done, and I will show you the end. So, so far, this is what I have done now. I just changed Friday from it looking... Um, what you call it? Horizontal, vertical, horizontally. I kind of made it slanted, if you guys can see that. I hope you guys can. And I did the same thing that I explained to you guys previously. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay. So this is the time the uh, month, today, the day of the um, week, the year, and the actual day, I'm sorry, and the actual day right here. So I hope you guys can see that. Alright, so after that you, you know, do whatever color that you want, all your customization. I hope this video was very good for you guys, but when you don't have a good camera and tripod, it's this right here hurts your arm. So when you're done, you will click save. Okay. And you will click, go to the back button. And click save again. Okay. And then you want to click save again. I mean, you want to click the back button. Okay. So make sure you click the back button. And it will say save scan. And you click yes. Okay. So it will take a few times. A few minutes for it to save it on there, but this is the one we just did, kind of similar to the one 
I did earlier. But I will do some more because I love this. And you basically, to set this on your, um, on your phone, you will go to your home screen. And you will do the same thing as you do to add a widget on any other phone. And you will find that particular app. And it will say UCW, I mean UCCW, and whatever size that your phone can handle it. My phone is not that big. I have a Samsung Galaxy S3, so I probably have to do the 4.1 and 4.2. But those of you who have the notes and all that, you can probably go bigger. Okay? And you pick whatever size that you want, and you click it, and it will save it for you. Reminder, um, depending on your service, your Wi-Fi, it will take a little bit long to load it. So right now it's taking very long to load, but it will load. So maybe if you um, restart your phone, it will um, show. So let's see if it if I restart my phone that it will load, like have it there. So hold on one second. So I'm still waiting for my phone to get all my widgets back so it's taking a little bit long. Okay here, it, here is an example how it looks. Um, it's not the one that I did um, just a few minutes ago but this is the one that I did earlier. But this is how it looks and this is the four times one but you can adjust it. I don't know if it depends on what kind of launcher you're using, but I am using the Plus Home Launcher, so it could be because of the launcher that I'm using that I can determine if I want it to be wider. Let's see right here, it says resize. So it depends, it probably depends what kind of launcher you have. But I didn't put the one that I had with me in the background because I didn't select it. So yeah, this is how it looks. It's really pretty. Yeah, I do want to do some more adjustments, but it shows that you can customize it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, and please subscribe for more, for more videos. Talk to you guys soon.